welcome back to Pucks in Deep, episode 51. 51. I yeah. Oof, they're going by quick. But today we got a very special guest for you guys. Redshirt freshman for AIC. Just an absolute <laughs> tank, I'll say it. <laughs> Eric Otto. Eric, welcome to the show. Wow. Hey, I, thank you very much for having me. It's awesome to be here. Hey, pumped to have you on. I can throw a bleep in there. It's okay, gonna have to be a yeah, big that one. was that was but, aggressive. That was right out of the gate. Yeah. Caught me off guard there. I mean, I had to put it just a hot start, but yeah. you know, let's just get right into Talk it. Talk about getting pucks in deep. I mean, that was just yeah. fired. This guy's living and breathing grit here. So, <laughs> you know, Eric, you're you're currently in your first season, like being able to escape with the team. You know, after originally joining in 2018, uh, obviously been through a lot because your first year got diagnosed with stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer before getting to play in your first game, you know, like, let's go back to when you heard that diagnosis, like, where were you? What was that feeling like? You know, did you see it coming at all? Just let you, yeah. let you speak on it. So, yeah, I get asked that question a lot. Um, it is, I was going to practice that day. I got called from the health office at Dexter Hall here at AIC. It's our health office. And um, they basically said, don't get on the ice, come back here right away. Um, so I did. My, my coach, Eric Lang, um, ended up driving me to the back to campus and, uh, went into the room with me, and as they kind of explained what they think they were seeing inside uh, the x-rays, um, she used a lot of big words. I didn't understand a lot of it, but then she ended up saying cancer at the end of it. And, you know, at this point, we didn't know like how extensive it was or how, um, what's the word, how bad it was. So right. they just said that. I did not really know how, what, how to react. Um, I just kind of looked at my coach for a brief second, you know, and just kind of swallowed the big pill. It was definitely really tough to hear and scary. And, you know, I didn't know, you know, I, I didn't know nothing about Hodgkin's lymphoma. I didn't know how much my life was at risk, much less my hockey career, you know. Right. So it was definitely scary, and I'm I'm very fortunate to be where I am now. You know, when when you first found out, you know, that a terrible news, what was your first thought? Was it was it hockey or was it just your, you know, your battle of cancer alone? I mean, was hockey in your mind at all during that time? Honestly, yeah, I think a lot of it was hockey. You know, um, me and my family have seen a bunch of uh, bouts with cancer. You know, my mom's a three-time survivor, so I wow. immediately I didn't think my life was incredible in danger. Mm -hmm. At first, it was definitely the hockey. I was thinking, you know, am I going to play hockey again? Am I going to, you know, be able to finish college and stuff like that? That's a hockey guy right there. That's a hockey <laughs> answer right there, man. <laughs> when am I get my next puck in deep? <laughs> Just be able to block a shot again. Uh, you know, I was reading up a little bit. Uh, just article on you saying that, you know, before that diagnosis, like you're looking back saying like, yeah, I was a little bit winded after like a 30 second shift in juniors. Like, I mean, how the hell did you play full games with that going on in your body? Like, are are you the mascot yeah. gritty for the Flyers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really don't know. It was, I, I don't know. I, I, all I know is, you know, I definitely took really short shifts. I um, just, I guess. You know, I feel dumb thinking back but on it now. Like, how did I not know something was wrong? How did I just, you know, play through it? Right. Um, I don't know how I didn't get checked on earlier. I mean, not necessarily just for, you know, cancer. You, know, you don't get sick or feel down or ill and then be like, oh, I'll go get checked for cancer. So, <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah, I really don't know. That's a good question. I, I really got lucky. <laughs> I guess that's just the hockey yeah, player play mentality. At the level I did. <laughs> yeah, no, it's impressive. It's like no Anything. excuses. I'm getting out there. Yeah. <laughs> <don't really. laughs> oh my god. Um, I guess what was my next question based on that? But uh, I mean, we could jump into like you mentioned that you know head coach Eric Lane was the person to drive you back to get that that last check, and he was in the room with you when you were diagnosed. Like you know, how did he handle that? Like how much did that mean to you that head coach was there for you? And like, what's his leadership been like? You know, throughout the whole process for you guys. Uh, I will say it, it definitely meant a lot that he was there with me. You know, uh, I'm being, I'm from Minnesota. I'm here in Massachusetts and, you know, I'm so far away from my family. It was nice to have my second family, the leader of my second family right there with me um, from the get go and having his support has been, you know, incredible. I think I've got a lot of, a lot of pulls through the hockey world. So he's really done a lot for me. Um, he handled it, you know, like a champ. Uh, he just, you know, gave me a big hug, stayed back, asked further questions as I went to go call my parents. Um, and you know, he, it's, it's been excellent. Him and the whole coaching staff that year really were awesome for me. I can't imagine. I mean, just, yeah. What a guy. And obviously you can't really read any article about Eric Lang with it not being in a positive light and everything yeah, that he's done for yeah, the program. He's, so he's honestly the best. I'm very lucky to be here. Play with Eric. 
He's the man. We gotta we gotta get him on the pod. Eric? If he would. Yeah, no. Yeah. I've heard yeah. the only good things about him though, and you know what he's done for the program and turning it around and you guys have had a couple of tournament uh uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Appearances in the past couple of there years. I mean, yeah, there it yeah. is. But I know, like, what's what's the atmosphere been like around the room and being a part of that still? You know, obviously you're going through what you're going through, but just the team in general has turned everything around. And you know, since that upset over St. Cloud, you guys have uh, been on the radar. Well, and how hard yeah. was it to watch that? Yeah, that too. I mean, you know, like obviously you wanted to be out there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> it would have been nice to be out there. I had a buddy on the team, St. Cloud, uh, Jack Ashan. He's a mm-hmm. captain. Of the- captain of them that year I grew up playing hockey with him so oh yeah it was fun to watch him play absolutely I'm sure you can still give him chirps from the bench there or, you know, <laughs> just watch it on the rink let him know <laughs> get after him uh but, you know let's talk about like you know how was it going through treatment rehabbing try- just to get back on the ice like did you always know uh like you were thinking about hockey when you were diagnosed you said like when can I get back out there but like through all that rehabbing was there ever a doubt in your mind that maybe you're not going to be able to get back out there? Or was it just like, it's going to happen, just got to stay after it? Honestly, yeah. There were a few times, I shouldn't say a few, there were a couple of times where I like was really thinking about it, you know, looking at myself in the mirror, you know, I'm 160 pounds, 155 pounds, you know, healthy, I'm 190. So I, Oof, I, I yeah. just questioned, like, am I going to be able to do this? Am I up for this? Like, it's a long road. At the time, I still had a whole redshirt year I had to finish, and I, it was a matter of am I going to be able to stick through it and, you know, get through the whole redshirt year as, and then, um, you know, get my time to play. It was it's definitely very tough. I, I always knew I wanted to. I knew I, like, that was my goal is just because I got sick and, you know, I had to take a year off doesn't mean I want to just hang them up, you know. It's, I've always wanted to play hockey. I don't know what else I'd be doing if I wasn't playing hockey. You know, I people think I'm here for school or here to get a <laughs> diploma or a degree and stuff. I'm, you know, I'm just trying to play hockey, you know? <laughs> Not exactly. That's how it goes. Love that we answer. got you. And, you know, you being a Minnesota kid that's been on your mind the whole time, uh, you, you played at Burnsville growing up. Talk about that experience. And we're, we're actually from Bloomington Jefferson, but so we're experienced. Yeah, we're you guys beat us with, up pretty yeah. good every year. We're familiar <laughs> with the Minnesota hockey thing, but you know, what was yeah. that experience like for you being a kid growing up in Minnesota, you know, having so much college, college teams in the wild, you know, to look up to. Uh, Honestly, it was, it was awesome. Um, at the time where I started really following hockey, the Minnesota Wild became a team. It was cool to watch them, yep. you know, really begin and get to follow their whole organization history. Right. Um, playing in Burnsville, I always felt very fortunate playing in Burnsville, playing over under the head coach, Yana Kimihami. Um, I also got the special experience of getting to watch Brock Besser grow up. He's on the Vancouver Canucks. You know, right. it's really cool being able <laughs> Oh, yeah. you know follow his footsteps as much as i can you know try and live up to him you know he's a he's a different breed so it's just cool <laughs> watching him and then like i said earlier jack is sean another excellent yeah, incredible absolutely. player two studs um, right there. yeah I mean, yeah. yeah so it was growing up in burns i felt very fortunate and um i always remember yeah i do remember playing bluington jefferson i remember <laughs> winning most of the game. <laughs> yeah i get it i get it we no, gotta, but it's just oh no though it's cool though you see like guys like brock you know just a kid in our neighborhood going doesn't does what right. he's done in the nhl he won the all-star what is it the shootout the first year and yeah the skill contest yeah, that's what it was, a shooting shooting contest. yeah that was nuts scored two goals in the game <laughs> like MVP. it's a little bit Are of everything your first year man it's just like what just a kid from minnesota so well, he tore it up in playoffs this year too yeah he's, yeah no they're, they have a good a team now yeah yeah, another guy where I, I give the the intro just what a f- you know? <laughs> <laughs> my goodness, just to beat. It'd be nice to have Matt Jefferson, you know. Both exactly, you guys. but the, just the state tournament and that in itself is something we've been a Minnesota kid. You always want to play in, but uh, yeah, neither of us got to play in that. But I mean, it's you're starting to depress me. Let's go. Yeah, I'm just saying, just in general, there's so many things in Minnesota that yeah. inspire you to you know achieve oh, great sure. things in the hockey world. So no, it's cool. And your story is, I know, another one of those things that it's just like wow. So it's just amazing that you you're able to play now at Division One level. I mean, right. what 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 the, what has the atmosphere been like since you played your first game back at ASC? Like, what's what's the feeling like in the room with the boys now? Uh, uh, for me, it's been a very special experience. You know, like I mentioned, there were times I didn't think I'd ever get to experience it again. So, right. Um, you know, as the guys, you know, prepare for their games and stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm obviously preparing and stuff as well, but um, I'm definitely making sure I really take everything in you know i'm not taking anything for granted um and i definitely 
you know, I, I hope they understand the boys in that room, how special it is for me to be out there, be in the locker room, be on the ice with them. I um, mean, it's all, it's, it's something I'm never, ever going to take for granted ever again. You know, sitting out mm-hmm. watching for two years, um, well, three years, I guess, yeah. has been it's definitely not fun. And I'm very <laughs> thankful I get the opportunity to keep playing. Absolutely. I think it was, you know, pretty, it was pretty cool. A couple of weeks back when you got into that starting lineup, but you were all over social media everywhere, man. That was, that was yeah, a good story. Yeah, that was, it was really cool. <laughs> it was really cool. I mean, even Army giving you stick, stick taps after. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Guys, obviously, dead. Yeah, you know? I was, yeah. Before the game, even when in the locker room, we announced like the team announcement of who's starting and they said my number and I was like, like what? Like, <laughs> I guess looking back, maybe I should have expected it. Just a big moment, big night for me, but. At the time, I wasn't. I didn't expect it. I went up to my captain. I was like, did you just say my number? Like, <laughs> one, two? And I, I couldn't believe it. And making his collegiate debut, a 6'1 sophomore out of Burnsville, Minnesota, number 12, Eric Adams. Yeah. And then once I did get, once I did get on the ice for the first time, the Army when they're stick taps and giving mm-hmm. me the recognition. That was awesome too. I, I can't be, or I'm very thankful that we were playing against Army West Point and Coach Riley. You know, they were very great Class to me. Guy, yeah. I can't be thankful enough, you know, so um, I am very thankful for that. Yeah, that gave me chills when, you, sk- when you skated out to the blue yeah. line there. That was that was pretty cool, man. That's right. Yeah. Just seeing your Definitely sweater. Night. I'll never out. forget. Absolutely, man. No, congrats on making it back on the ice. That in itself is just. Well, that like and amazing. then, I mean, you were out there for a pretty big point at the end, like that six on four PK, mm-hmm. throwing yourself out there and you end up getting the, like the assist to end the game. You know, how did that feel? I was, it was very cool. I, you know, my first game, I didn't expect to play such a big role. You know, I was just trying to get my feet wet, you know, get back <laughs> into it. And, right. um, you know, coaches ended up putting me out there at some key moments. I was, you know, very surprised, but you know, I was I was ready to go. You know, it was a moment I wanted to be out there. Um, I identify as a big penalty kill guy. You know, keep the puck out of our net. Like, let's go. So that's you know, I was I was really excited to be in those positions. You know, I was I was ready for it. It was awesome. I was gonna say, you know, our show is called Pucks in Deep for a reason. You know, just <laughs> get the job done by any means. <laughs> so when we got a PK around the show. It just feels right. You know, like what would you rather yeah. <laughs> block a shot or just like get a huge PK clear for the boys? Like, what's what's a better adrenaline rush for you honestly blocking a shot you know yes hearing the boys get loud for it you <laughs> yeah know, you're getting stick tabs really okay. i like no lie for sure let's go all right i mean yeah you got ice why not and it could <laughs> lead to a clear anyway <laughs> it's true so it's kind of like a trick question <laughs> okay what about you know let's get to your goals like i'm sure you i don't know if you have like the you know new year new you but it's 2021 first season redshirt freshman out here how many tucks are we aiming for this season? And how many blocks? Like, what's what's the goal? I uh, I could say I'll shoot I'll shoot for you know thirty some blocks. I think I'm at <laughs> zero right now. It's, it said so one. Blocks. There's time. I saw, I I saw one. On I said that for sure. <laughs> yeah. All right, thirty plus blocks. Uh, as, yeah, you know you gotta. I I, sh- I probably have like a hundred in practice. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get, <laughs> get in front of it in the game now. Um, oh, I love it. That's for. For goals, I don't know, 10, 15. Right. That, that'd be excellent. That, that'd be really cool. Uh, Hell yeah. But, you know, I, I'll probably I'll probably end up with two if I'm lucky. Man, <laughs> man you never know. You never know. Hey, it starts with two. It starts, it gets starts to with 10, one. gets to 15. <laughs> you block a shot on the PK, get a little breakaway action. Why not? Like, I'll see. Yeah, hey, that, that's, that's the key right there. Or what about, like, do you have a Selly planned out for oh, that yeah, first goal? Oh, yeah, I like goal? that question, like, yeah. Because you're talking about, you know, that first one's going to feel so good, like, I mean, you could probably shotgun a beer on the ice. No one's going to stop you. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's your go-to celly? What do you got planned? Uh, duh, that's anything. a good question. I don't know. I'm not a big celly. I'd probably just, you know. Just skate back shocked. to the bench? I don't <laughs> I'm probably just give the team a big hug, you know. Maybe hug the whole bench, you know. Yeah. I mean, maybe skip the line, just hug the middle. I don't know. I like that. It'd be, be really cool. It'd be a real special moment for me. I know that. Right. I mean, it, yeah, just, just go with what you feel again. If. If we were somehow able to get tickets to that, I will toss a beer on the ice. You don't have to drink it, but just uh, just think about it. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, I mean, you guys are atop of the you know, Atlantic right now. Like, what are you know what's what's the plan for the rest of the season? How do you guys finish atop of that and get to the tournament again? Good question. Uh, yeah. Um, our mentality going into each game is you know it's game seven. You know, game seven mentality. Ready. I think that's going to be a huge key for us to 
stay on the top of the league. Yeah. Um, right now, like you said, we are in first place. We play Army three times this week. Yep, it's a um, lot. <laughs> so it's a lot of camo. I think. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think if we just go into every game uh, with the game seven mentality, I think mm-hmm. we'll be all right. But I think we have enough skill and our team's deep enough to where we can handle a, a bunch of games in one week. Um, I think we'll, you know, put up a good fight. Hopefully, stay on top. It's tough to beat a team three times in a row, though. I mean, you just keep playing the same yeah. team. Yeah, like, you, especially traveling. You, you out are there. right. I think it'll be a very tough task, especially against a team like Army. You right, know, they're well coached, well. A lot of grit, a lot of work. They get pucks deep. You know, so. Their goalie swam through the Amazon. He was on our podcast earlier. He swam yeah. through the Amazon after jumping out of a helicopter. <laughs> like, yeah, he's yeah. nuts. He's doing They're tactical nuts over drills there, in the yeah. off season. <laughs> he's a beast. Deeper. Yeah. <laughs> he's, like, ah. he's like, ah, shit. <laughs> That's tough. What about, you know, like we were talking a little bit before this, how, you know, you're a redshirt freshman now at 23. Obviously, nothing from that what you could control. But, like, what's that like being in the locker room? having that freshman tag, like, I hope to God they don't make you pick up pucks or we got problems. But, like. <laughs> oh, no, no. They actually, even last year, as my redshirt year, they declared me a, a upperclassman. You know, they said, I'm not a rookie no more. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Nice. You got off it. You got so, off the bus, yeah. I, I, I do get treated very nice for the team. I'm very thankful for that. <laughs> okay. Um, Thank they, God. They said last year that my rookie year is probably worse than all of theirs, and I, I had to agree with that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That lines up, but I mean, now we got, uh, I was like, the lettuce is looking nice, fully grown out. Like, has that been a nice, pleasant surprise for you too? They can just let it pour a little bit now. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm just going to let it go. Yeah. Yeah. To. No excuses or like, I saw you're matched up with what's his name Lon there. Number 44. That guy's got some letty. Oh God. Yeah. Oh yeah. Has he still got yeah, it right now? Got some hair. <laughs> is it going right now got for some him? Hair I haven't, and I haven't seen it this some year. Teeth, if I recall. Yeah. The Austin Long? Yep. Is that his name? Yeah. Yep. I think yep. he's from Austin Austin Long, yeah. He's a yeah. <laughs> Best flow. With the Fulton Reed him and Him and Wood. Yeah. On uh, Huntsville, yeah. Those oh, guys run it up. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fucking Connor. The curly <laughs> one, here, man. It's something. Holy it's the shit. hockey look. Should we uh, jump into a little speed round here? Yeah, we can go speed round. All right. So, Eric, I don't know if you've listened to a speed round. We just throw in some really intense music in the background, like at post-production. <laughs> So just get in that mental okay. space. They're gonna be, <laughs> we're gonna be firing on that. I yeah. think this guy's ready for anything. But yeah, yeah, go yeah for that's it. true. That shouldn't even. Have, okay. <laughs> Let's say you know, first one we like to start with. Who's got the best die in the locker room? You got to pick a side. Coming to the game, who looks the best? Oh. Uh, Aaron Grounds. Aaron Grounds. What's what's he repping? What's he got like the Cam Newton fits going or? Cam. <laughs> I don't know. The other day he had this really nice plaid. Tonight, I was like, dang, I gotta get one of those. Like, oh, it was a real nice. I don't know, grand or nothing. Okay, I like that. Or what about you know who? Should we go worst style? Yeah, we could. We usually don't. I know, yeah. but who's got the worst style? Okay, yeah. who looks like shit? <laughs> what? I could throw anyone under the bus. Um, I don't want to get in trouble, Bob. Uh, yeah, Sweetwood, Capchak, Brennan, Qua- Brennan Capchak. Okay. The same suit every day. <laughs> same <laughs> suit. Captain. I'm going to get in trouble for that. Uh, he's throwing the captain <laughs> under the bus. He hey. doesn't even get away with it. I love it. One suit, everybody knows the rules. What about yeah. hardest hardest shot on the team? That's what I want to know. I'm yeah. Curious Who shot that. do you not want to block? Uh, yeah. Probably Matus Spot, yeah. Okay. That's a hell of a name. Okay. He's putting up three digits yeah. or what? Yeah. <laughs> Is he putting up three digits? Yeah. What is that? How hard is a shot? Right, what? How hard is a shot? Is he putting up three digits? Is that uh, three digits? No, nah, probably <laughs> not three digits, but it's up there. Yeah, probably it, 85, 90, God. easily. Like Just, it's it's hard. He's a, he's a big dude. He's strong. Yeah, like, yeah. it's always scary. Shit. That kind of guy's winding up in front of you. You're like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah. My God. Just trying to get the stick on it. That's all you can try to do. What about the biggest dude in the locker room? Who, who's got your back in a in a bar fight once those reopen here? <laughs> Uh, definitely Blake Bennett. Okay. He was a red shirt with me last year. You know, we're real close. Spent a lot of time together. Hell yeah. Red shirts stick together, man. We're red shirt podcast. Yeah, we, we got to <laughs> Got to do what you got to do. What about, uh, let's see. I think of, I was going to say favorite, favorite, favorite barn that you've been to that you've played in like ever. Ooh, I like that. Doesn't have to be could in Could be college. juniors, could yeah. be anything. Ooh, uh. That is a really good question. I got to say, you know, I played hockey in Des Moines, Iowa, in the USHL. I got to say that rank, the Madhouse on Hickman. Um, a lot of people hate it, but, you know, being the home team in that rank was electric. You know, it was awesome. So I, I, I got to say the Des Moines Buccaneers arena. Okay. 
I'm we heard some, we've heard some talk about it. It looks old to me. I've, I've never been there personally, so but yeah, I, no, I believe it. It probably is electric. That's the first junior rink we've got mentioned on. Too. Oh yeah, we asked him any rink. I mean, yeah. So yeah, what about um, you know, number twelve? Is does that have any meaning to you? Is that what you're handed? Is there a reason behind that? I uh, not well. No, growing up, I've been number seventeen my whole life. Mm -hmm. um, number okay. twelve actually has been my little brother's number. Um, so I guess that's kind of where I got it. They they gave me uh, options two years ago, and I just you know twelve was the only one that had any meaning to me. So <laughs> there you yeah, go. It's my little brother's number. That's why I picked it. Okay, cool. It's, it's a solid number. People, I mean, it's better than getting handed like something like number thirty or something. <laughs> that's a cool number. <laughs> yeah. I've seen it, man. I've like, seen it. It's brutal. Uh, what about like <laughs> Frank? You like that? Everybody's <laughs> dying in the back. Uh, you know, Eric, what's uh, your advice for kids just trying to play Division One hockey or or battling cancer or anything? Like, what advice do you have? You've been through it all, so. Um, you know, I like to tell people, you know, if you know you do get really ill, um, you know, your physical health is one thing, but your mental health is another. Um, yeah. For me, I know my mental health really took a toll on me almost as much as my physical health. Uh, so just make sure you're paying attention to your mental health. That's what I like to tell people. Um, if you're trying to play Division One hockey, you know, you got to be the hardest work in the room, hardest work on the ice. You got to be willing to block the shots. You got to be willing to go to the corners, you know. Damn right. So it, you, you got to you gotta be willing to, you know, do the dirty work, you know. Right. Unless you're a superstar that can put up 50 goals in a league. So. <laughs> You gotta you get got pucks deep. For you. Right. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. But with thirty not plus yet. blocks, getting into that ten to fifteen goal range, it's coming. What about just AIC in general? You know what? What drew you to that school out of any other school? I guess. I like that. Uh, AIC was. They were willing to give me a chance. You know, I, right. I um they they pulled a lot of strings for me to get into into school. Um, you know, growing up, I could have done a better job in the classroom. Um, and you know, they they made it possible for me to play. So that's, I was very grateful for that. And, you know, I'm going to make the most of it. I love that. What about, uh, I looked in the last interview that, you know, after your playing days are over, you've mentioned that you want to stay in the game of hockey, but possibly as a coach, have you, you know, given any, uh, or gotten any discussions with that, with coach Eric Lang there, like kind of giving you some mentorship or, uh, how have you gone about, you know, just thinking that are you still, uh, thinking that in your future? Yeah, I think it's really cool. I haven't talked to Coach Lang about it at all. Um, it's just, you know, that's just something I'll, I'll definitely fall back on. You know, I'm at the moment I want to, you know, see how far I can take hockey and you know, focus on that. Right. So that's kind of my my plan. Well, he's a good connect to have once your pro days are over, though. So I mean, you're yeah, set. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'll make it, pro. You're gonna make it. Yeah. Too good of a story not to, man. Too many block shots. Too many block shots. Too many pucks in deep. <laughs> yeah. Too many of these fancy guys that won't get down for one. No, they see you. They're like, oh man, this guy's eating a hundred in practice. Yeah, we'll give him a tryout. You know, that's how these things happen. Is he? Is he? Is he a hard coach to play for? Like, is you have really hard practices or hard workouts or what's it like there? Um, practices are normally pretty intense. We do have a lot of guys. I think we have, we can fit. We have, right now we have seven lines of forwards. Wow. So it is hard. So if you're not in that top six, you know, you're kind of battling every single day. Right. Um, so we do, you know, practices can get pretty intense during the year. He kind of, once he has kind of an idea, he, it's definitely more, more like, um, habits and small stuff like that you know make sure we're playing the right way um but the first month before the season starts you know it's it's definitely real intense i can tell you that for sure <laughs> hence the blocks okay now that makes sense <laughs> yeah. Practice, yeah you guys just get in line and just get in line to block shots all day just taking slap shots must be play. nice to be a goalie for aic in practice yeah that's probably true yeah the only team where they're just eating them he gets like two you. shots per practice <laughs> yeah <laughs> love that or what about uh we did have a couple aic guys on the pod last year oh we did yeah. uh we had hugo reinhardt and blake christensen uh what was your relationship li like with those you know absolute studs my relationship was really good you know i actually i live in crystal's old room okay i'm there oh nice uh, so and i know the guys here just went and picked him up from the airport he just got home from norway um Shouts. i didn't get to like I didn't play with him directly or anything like that i just got to watch him play a lot it was really cool you know he's a really good player hugo uh, he was our captain. He was, you know, a really good guy. He was easy to talk to. He was around all the time. You know, it was, it was really awesome getting to watch them do their thing. 
you know, be successful now they're both playing pro hockey. So yep. I'm really happy for them. Yeah, absolutely. Those two good guys, they're fun to have on yeah. too. Well, it sounds like you're set up real yeah. nice, you know, in, in the old room. Mm-hmm. You know, just get <laughs> set up for success. Get out there. <laughs> yeah, this is this is like a Hollywood script, yeah. you know, just being planted. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Uh, they kind of told us about campus. There's not much to do and stuff. But I mean, this year it's got to be even tougher with quarantine. I mean, we didn't have it when we had those guys on. Was yeah. it COVID, was it? No, it wasn't. No, it was, it was not COVID. So now it's just kind of be like, what's it like on campus with COVID and going to in school and then, you know, now you're back Honestly, on the ice. Like it's, true. We we go, we get up in the morning, we go practice. Yeah. You know, we come home, go to the DC, grab our food and bring it home. We don't like ever sit at the DC. Right. Um good idea. <laughs> so it's pretty lame. You know, there's not much to do. Uh Coach Lang expressed just yesterday how it's this isn't like a real college experience and you know, he hates that about this year, but you know, there's nothing we can do. Um mm-hmm. so we yeah, so there's not much to do. Like, you know, there's no one here for the last month during the break. It's literally just been the hockey team here on campus. And even still, we're not allowed to, like, all hang out together. So um, the only time we really get to see each other is at the rinks and at the uh, workouts. So, you know, we definitely make the most of that time for sure. Yeah, I can't imagine just a lot of a lot of video games with the boys, probably just to build that chem up. Yep, exactly (laughs) that. Yeah, that Zoom (laughs) class is what that's it. There we go. All right, yeah. What's your game of choice? You Warzone, Fortnite. What are we? What are we talking here? Chell, obviously. Uh, we we did have some Chell players at the beginning of the year. Now most guys are playing Warzone, playing COD. Yeah. Um. I, okay. I want to say about a month ago, guys kind of got on Fortnite again, but I, I'm pretty sure they're playing COD again. <laughs> I, I don't. It's just tough. I I've never been a huge Fortnite fan except for like the first when I first came uh, out. Yeah. First two months is out. You know, everyone was playing. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's definitely definitely war zone for our team. There you go. Yeah, kids are too sweaty on Fortnite, so I support that. <laughs> Just, <laughs> Just yeah, it. you're not wrong. Yeah, you're like this kid hasn't showered in weeks. I'm out of here. <laughs> you know, Just can't deal with it. But uh, do you got any other? I don't, man. James. I, I think do. yeah. I really don't. Um, I guess. Do you want to give any shout outs uh, to anybody, Eric? We can throw it at the front of the pod. Uh, you know, I just want to thank, uh, AIC, my teammates, um, the school, my coaches. Thanks for, you know, having faith in me and supporting me. Um, I hope to be proud. Love that. All right. We'll throw, rip that right in there. But again, we want to thank you, Eric. Like this was awesome. We're huge. Uh, we play favorites as we say. So, I mean, we're not even talking to Trevin over there in army this week. We (laughs) want you to rip them all three games and, uh, excited to watch you guys play, man. Definitely. Thank you very much. It's awesome to be here. That's yeah, man, no, good, good to meet you, and best of luck the rest of the season. We'll be watching, dude. Yeah. Sounds good. Thank you very much. I Have appreciate it. All right, so that's our man, the myth, the legend, Eric Otto of AIC, James. What a what a beast. I'm not going to swear this time because I already <laughs> made it very clear, but just an absolute tank. Yeah, an amazing story, you know, for him to come back on the ice and now play D1 hockey and get a point in his first couple of games. And he just, if he can get back in the lineup, yeah, killing there. penalties, right, he's getting time. Yeah. Um, an amazing story and a a kid from our hometown too. So it's pretty cool to see him come full circle and now achieve his dream. So and hopefully he gets to play pro hockey one day too, but right. And he's still probably not up to, you know, full speed, like where he was in his prime and juniors. Yeah. Like, yep. I mean, he was captain of that uh, Iowa team until, you know, got traded to Chicago steel, I believe. Chicago steel. Yep. And then captain of Burnsville too. had symptoms showing up there. Like he said, 30 second shifts are winning him. So like, we haven't even seen him at his top speed yet. Yeah. That's going to be scary. You get that PK or going, Woo. I'm excited. Hey, I see, man. Freaking They're dangerous in the tournament. Dangerous beauty. And he's from Minnesota, so yeah. you know he's going to light it up. Exactly. He's no, got no. the hair. Good kid all in all, and our third guy from AIC. Um, yeah, we got a lot. program that's turning it around. And, a lot of yellow jackets. Yeah, a lot of yellow jackets. Only good things from Eric Lane out there, so he's doing a good, great job there. Yeah. Um, hopefully you can create a winning program. Hopefully AIC can you know throw us a little love on this post. <laughs> <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be nice out there. Oh, you know they will. Yeah. You know they will. Like, we'll tickle their backs a little bit. Had a little highlight goal for them today. But uh, yeah, since our last pod we had on Angus, mm-hmm. they they split. You know, it wasn't too bad. I guess they went one and two that week. They went one and two, yeah. They are currently, uh, they haven't lost in their last one. So <laughs> the last in their last pretty, one, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's pretty, good. Pretty pumped about that. Angus is a total beauty. Now we got Eric feeling pretty good. They got three games in a row against Army. Obviously a tough team, but hopefully they can go two and one. You know, I just get our record back up. Yeah, let's but not let's our, not rip Army anymore. Because I'm, I'm not, not no, I'm not ripping kicked. them. Yeah, okay. I'm saying like. God, I just hope that our luck doesn't keep happening because <laughs> it's been tough. Like, yeah, that's all I'll say. But, uh, you know, what's what's been your biggest breaking news since we 
last spoke? Like what stood out to you? Uh, I, I like the CC in Denver for the gold pan. That was a good yeah. turn. Or good, good, good series. Good. Oh, I mean, Denver handed them their ass the second night, but the first yeah. night CC came out and took what was there. So no, that was yeah. a good game to watch. Um, and then Minnesota Duluth and St. Cloud, that was a good series too. Watch right. them play again and see the NCHC get started up again. And now it's different. You know, there's no pot anymore. You're going to the other team's rink now. So it's a little bit different. I do like seeing that though. Especially like, with St. Cloud, they get Olympic ice again up. now. So that's big for them. That favors their team a lot more than the, um, in Omaha did so sure do and they're flying like it has a UMD fan that kind of hurt to see them you know being able to kind of score at will there especially the second game yeah uh you know shout out to Noah Cates getting that OT winner yeah that was, first a snipe. One. that was sick yeah. love that but uh yeah obviously St. Cloud we're moving them up in our rankings this week I think they're at five uh Mavericks at four Duluth at six Bowling Green at seven that's kind of the same threw in Robert Morris at 10 because they've won three in a row uh the only team really in the Atlantic besides AIC that you know, kind of showing spurts that they could make it to the tournament and, mm -hmm. you know, hold their own because they can score anybody too. So why give me that look? No, nothing. I was just, no, I was listening <laughs> to you talk. I'm just okay. looking at the I other scores. Like, Whoa, though. don't jump on Mercyhurst. Don't jump on Mercyhurst. No, they, no, they deserve to be jumped on. Sorry, okay. Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but other than that, UMass uh, swept Northeastern. That was another big series for me. Um, yeah. They're just proving their worth once again, yeah. staying in the top. What do we have? I we had them at eight this week. Yeah, I kept them yeah. because Bowling Green didn't lose and Bowling That's Green was ahead yeah. of them before. Yeah. So trust me, I wanted to move them up and they're ready to. I think they have a big series. This They play somebody good this week. I'll check it out. Check. They play Connecticut. Oh, there you so go. So UConn, that'll be, if they can sweep them again, um, or not, if not they can again. sweep them, yeah, yeah, then I would bump them up. But obviously, I think they've won, what, six in a row or something mm -hmm. crazy? Yeah, no, uh, Jake Odad, streak. Coach uh, DeMichael at the helm assistant. <laughs> <laughs> I love his he's comments, man. God, yeah. he slid in our post yesterday. That was too funny. Yeah, if you ever, what's his first name? I'm trying to think of it. We'll find it out. We'll find it out. He's coming on the pod. That guy's yeah. coming on the pod for sure. That's yeah. going to be our first coach. Yeah, former RIT goalie, <laughs> assistant coach for UMass now. Uh, just a just a stud, and clearly he's greasing that team up for a win streak. So they've stood out. Other than that, we got, there's a reason why I'm wearing a Youth XL USA sweater today. <laughs> got World <laughs> Juniors uh, championship game. USA somehow made it past Finland last night, and we're juiced here at the studio. Oh, they were favored to win that one. I know, but it looked scary at one point. Oh, yeah. yeah like, when I, when I Especially after you sent that text, yeah. Yeah, I text, we're up 3-1, like, fucking rights. Can't wait to watch the boys tomorrow night. And then it's 3-3. Three, three. three seconds later, just it's 3, three nowhere. Yeah. Um, So, just tough to see. <laughs> now we did end up, you know, getting past them there. Who was, what was the name of the guy with the game winner? Turcotte, just, you know, F1 hard. No, Turcotte got the first one, but yeah. Yeah, no, but he know. fed the game winner. Oh, too. yeah. I can't think of the guy's name. We'll figure it out. <laughs> anyway, this night, yeah, we're just figuring everything out on the fly here. But uh, USA, Canada, predictions? I'll take Canada. Yeah, yep. <laughs> I'll take Canada. I'm gonna say it. you know somewhat close. I'm gonna say Canada five three. You know, I think like two one. I think header. it's a low scoring game. You think two one overtime Canada? Yeah. Okay. I th Canada doesn't do anything like they put up five against freaking Russia. So watch right. out. All right, so yeah, that's kind of the big news happening here. And then you're wearing a USA start. jersey. And you're taking Canada. <laughs> it's uh, so fucked. <laughs> all right, fine. I'll get hammered. Give me USA. USA six five. Jeez, you're still gonna score six <laughs> goals now. Six five, the boys, the good guys went win. from losing to talking six on Canada. Okay. Yeah, we're okay. gonna put up a we're few more. Caulfield's gonna get hot tonight. He is gonna He's get. He's dropping one. f bombs on camera. I love that shit. <laughs> so obviously, USA is gonna have a tough one tonight. But then everybody starts returning back into college hockey. Here we have a big slate this week. Let me just jump on the first game of the week: Fair State Huntsville. <laughs> Everybody, put this on your can your calendar. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get a W, and I'm thinking Chargers. I'll take Fair State. At they're going to Alabama. <laughs> There's no fans either way. It's still a road trip, and you're in Huntsville. Like, ugh. I'm Good taking luck. Ferris State. Yeah. Wow, we've had I we haven't had anyone on Ferris State, but we've had IO. That's true. Con we you don't love Connor Wood? Is that what you're telling no, me? No, I do. I love the no, boys in, in Huntsville, but <laughs> I'm just taking I'm Ferris State. I'm backing up my Charger fever, so that's a big series. But also, you know, Wisconsin hosting Minnesota. That'll be a huge series because the Gophers are coming off a big sweep here. Uh, all those fans talking shit. But the Gophers don't play anybody tough. Boom, another two games for you. Yeah, just add to the resume. How about teams Dem be, they haven't played Wisconsin yet, so it'll be interesting. And uh, yeah, is everybody gonna be back for that game? I'm trying to think. Probably not. I don't know yet. We'll it's see. Kind of we'll see what happens turnaround. tonight. Yeah, it is. But Caulfield's the man. He he'll probably show up hungover and still score. <laughs> you know, that's the kind of <laughs> he'll be there. But vibe I'm getting from him. Also got Lake Superior, Northern Michigan. Maybe have the Wildcats won. I think they they beat one. They beat Fair State once. I want to say. Yeah, I don't know, but they got swept bad. They lost yeah, totally nine to zip. To tough Mankato series. this weekend, so that's a tough series for them. But uh, yeah, know, a good week to bounce back box. for them. And now, who is it? Uh, Mankato plays Michigan Tech this weekend, so yeah, um, that'll be a good series. I think Michigan they'll split that one. Plus more gold pan action. Yep, 
yep. Denver CC, get that They're wrapped up. And it. then maybe BU plays a game. I don't know. <laughs> They're scheduled currently to play Providence. I'm, I'll am i believe it when I literally see them take that first opening draw. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. Oh, they're supposed to take over that count. They're, it's going to happen. Yeah. Knock on wood. <laughs> we'll see. So, I mean, those are the big series. My Michigan, bees and Michigan my bees State. and Bowling Green. That's a big series for me. Bees Bowling Green. Yeah, oh, I didn't know that. That's yeah. Okay. Yep. We'll see. Bowling Green's seven in the country right now. So, yep. what, ten and one or eleven and one. They're greased wagon. Eleven and one. Eleven and one. Now, they, yeah. This yep. will be the their second. So good luck. Good luck, boys. WCA to play. Yeah. <laughs> bees got a tough test for them, and then Michigan, Michigan State. That's always a yeah, big rivalry, rivalry game. Yeah. So it's rivalry weekend here. I like that. It really is. I mean, Huntsville, Ferris State. I mean, juice stuff, and then you, <laughs> you jump into these ones. Robert Morris, Niagara. Providence, of, BU. Yeah. I mean, what a slate here. Quinnipiac, Clarkson, a little ECAC matchup finally. Mm. Yeah. It's so many a good games. Weekend. Yeah. Yeah, so looking forward to hopefully all these happen. Uh, it's not our fault if they don't. I think I just saw one get postponed, but I'm not, right, not going to report it. Shut up. <laughs> Nothing happened. Everybody's playing puck. Uh, USA is going to win 6-5, and Eric Otto is a, just a fucking just, beast. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so that's that's our recap here today, <laughs> sponsored by Old Spice. Uh, wasn't that the brought to you by Old Spice? Oh, my <laughs> God. Come on. Give me a little bit more. Can we edit it in? Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Brought to you by Old Spice, uh, ECH. I'm your host, Connor Thelman. And I'm James Murray. No, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Pucks in Deep, episode 51 with mm. the Eric Otto of AIC. What a story this guy's had. It's an honor for us to just interview the guy. Right. Um, but yeah, man, congrats to you to get back on the ice. We wish you the best moving forward. But yeah, check us out on YouTube at Everything College Hockey, Twitter, yep. Team ECH, Instagram, TikTok, at Everything up. College Hockey. Swipe up on Friday, guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Let's get Pucks Deep. That's a wrap. Frank, give me some music. Thanks <laughs> 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 <laughs>